Hey y'all, it's Thirsty Thursdays. It's early, so you all usually see me go online around about 6.30, getting ready for the show, which we will still do later today. But for right now, I am about to let y'all see, watch me experiment. I'm sick of eating the same types of food. What's up y'all, what's up Ronald? I'm sick of eating the same types of food, so I was like, if I were at work, what do I usually get at work? I'll go up to the dining room and I order a um, breakfast burrito all the time. So I decided I'm gonna try to make it myself. I'm gonna try to make me a breakfast burrito. I have never made a burrito in my life. I don't know how to roll it. I probably should have watched YouTube. So if somebody knows how to roll the burrito once I get it fixed, hey sister. Oh yeah, sister. How you doing today, sister? I typed you a book last night and you just typed me my sister is so crazy, y'all. She, We're so opposite. Like, I'll text paragraphs. I'll write a book. She say two letters. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Miss Shirley. Hey, Pebbles. I'm about to make a breakfast burrito. It's lunchtime, but I'm, I'm going to do it. So if somebody knows how to, you know, do the burrito thing, tell me what to do. Pebbles, you said, I made these the other day for my boys and coworkers. Bomb. Okay. Um... I'm about to try it. I'm gonna give it a try right now. So I got some burrito thing. Oh shoot. What's up, y'all? Cheryl, you say you stressed? I'm sorry, sister. I told you, come over here. Come over here with me. Just for a little while. You don't even have to tell them where you're going. Okay, so I don't even know if I bought the right types of things. Um, honey, I, I asked Stan if he wanted to you know, watch, I mean, help watch me so he could learn how to do it. Tuck in on each side, okay, like this. So do, I'm gonna just, this is a sample, I'm gonna throw this one away, but so I should do like what pebbles, like, so I'll put my stuff in here, let's pretend like this is my stuff. Oh, this is too big, shit. Um, all right, so this is my, this is the stuff that go in my burrito. She said tuck on each side, okay. So do I roll it first? Wait a minute. I'm trying to see. So I do this. And maybe like this. Oh, that's what I see them do at Chipotle. Then roll it again. No. Then roll it here. And then roll like this. Hey, hey, hey. I am, but I needed to know how to roll the burrito. And so Pebbles just told me to tuck them on each side. Hey, what's up, Mike Sanders? I did it. Put the stuff in the middle. I did that, Pebbles. Okay, so this was my food. And so we did the demo, so let's get it popping. I already made my bacon, y'all. It's more burnt than I like it, but whatever. Stan likes burnt crispy bacon. I like, um, I don't, I like kind of like that soggy bacon that's the fat. I know I'm fat, but it's not too bad. It's not really burnt. I just don't like real crispy bacon. I don't like crispy bacon. All right, so. I always get all the grease off, right? Let's do that. And then, okay, Bay, are you paying attention, honey? Mm -hmm. Sometimes he's my assistant chef, and then sometimes he gets brand new. And hey, meaty, I'm making a breakfast burrito for the first time. I've never made a breakfast burrito. I've never made a burrito at anything, <laughs> ever. <laughs> so this is an experiment, so I'm gonna do two eggs. So, Bay, you gotta do two eggs. I'm gonna use some spinach. Oh, chef, that's your song, Bay. Yeah. Who's gonna watch the show tonight? Spotlight over the city is coming to your computer screens at 7 o'clock p.m. tonight. Who's watching? Mm-hmm. Give me a thumbs up or something if y'all like watching the show tonight. So, Bay, we're gonna put spinach, egg. We're gonna generation south. Hey Carolyn. Huh? I think I should I, when I go when I order these burritos at the dining room at my job, I always see them put the spinach on the grill first. So I guess I should do the spinach first and then the eggs. Oh no, baby. You're not using turkey bacon though, you're gonna oink it up. He said am I Wink it up. Why am I video stalling? Is it stalling on y'all's end too? 
Maybe the rain. They putting that thing on you. I don't know, but it's just frozen. Um, hey Cheryl Joffy, so I got some spinach, right? Um, I guess I'm supposed to do the spinach first, cause spinach cooks so fast and then scramble the eggs in it. And then I'm gonna grate a little bit of this cheese. Why don't you ask them, like people that know. And has anybody ever made a breakfast burrito before? I've never made one, but I have all of my ingredients here, I'm ready. What's up Anthony? I'm ready, I got my bacon, I got my spinach, and I got my eggs. And I'm gonna do a little bit of cheese. I'm trying to gradually get off of dairy. It's a gradual process. So if y'all see me eating an ice cream cone, don't be in my inbox saying, oh, Terry, I thought you said you wasn't gonna eat dairy. Oh, Terry, dairy is not good for you. I don't wanna hear it. I'm gonna eat an ice cream cone sometimes in my life. I'm saying that I'm trying to gradually cut back on dairy. So I'm only gonna do a little bit of cheese. I usually swarm my stuff, like smother my stuff with cheese, but I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm not about that smother cheese like no more. No, I don't want, no, 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 no. What's up, Michael? How's everybody doing? How's everybody hanging in there during this uh, quarantine? Everybody doing good? Eliminate the bacon. Cheryl Joppy, no. How you gonna have a burrito, a breakfast burrito with no bacon? Some turkey bacon. You said, what is it called, babe? That's not how you oink. Do a good oink. Like this. Yeah, like a, <laughs> he said, I'm oink oink, so you speak what you want until you see what you have. So he that said, what did you that say? That. You said, I want oink oink. No, I'm saying that's not the same. Oh, that's speak what you see. See you see what you said. So, but you, yeah, if you I'm say right. to your wife, oh, baby, are you an oink oink? No, I didn't say you. Uh -huh. I said you're eating oink oink. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah not my wife. Not me. Not you. Okay. The, the oink oink on your plate. <laughs> Cheryl, I'm trying to get, <laughs> Cheryl, you're trying to get me to eat clean? I am, I got this, spinach, and I got some brown eggs, that's clean, <laughs> and a burrito, and what'd you say is not clean? Oh, the bacon is lean. Your swine. The lean, is lean bacon? It's forbidden. It is? Mm -hmm. Should have been hidden. Oh, okay, well, I'm, I must, I'm right, sure, that's a start. So I'm, I'm trying to gradually change certain things about what I eat. But I have, to, my disclaimer is, y'all know T-Bomb, whoever knows me, y'all know all my life pretty much. I'm going to, um, if I say I'm on a diet and you see me eating a burger, don't talk to me. I'm going to still eat my burger, okay? And it doesn't mean I'm not on a diet. It so it just moment. means at that moment I decided I ain't on it. I'm about to eat a burger. So in, in these moments, I'm trying to gradually change some things. So when you see so me, I work around for what you. How you yeah, I have a custom made you. diet. Oh. I don't do what everybody do. I, I march to the beat of my own drum, and you know that. Yeah, he always cool. tells me he has the craziest, most just I don't even know if you hit all drum, over the place type of wife, right? And, and he's he's sometimes Stan will say things like. I've never even seen anybody like you. I've never met anyone as crazy as you. Um, no one's met no one as crazy. Well, a lot of these people have known me for years. And they don't know no one that's crazy and they don't, than you. You don't know anyone who's crazier than me? That's not true. So, um, but the thing is, he is, he loves me. Yes, I do. For my dual personalities. Well, they're more than dual. It's like seven. It's like seven. Seven. That's the magic number. <gasps> we were married on seven, seven, seventeen. Seven demons. Is that the same thing, right? Magic seven is seven a, numbers. but seven is an important number in the Bible, yeah. right? And can you just show what one person? I have seven different personalities. And I can only do one. So I just well, you, 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 you didn't marry life. one. That's you, what I'm trying to tell you, you, you were provided with this information up front. No. no yes, no. you were. No, yes, you were. I showed you all These of my different. Start showing up monthly. Like as time went by. Yes, they did. That's not true. I showed you crazy stuff like I when no, we were when we were dating. No. 
I peed on myself in front of him. I did all of my crazy stuff in front of him Sir, so that he can make a, a conscious laughter. decision. Pee from I peed from laughter, but I still so peed. How many grown-ups still be peeing on themselves? I, sometimes if I laugh too much, I can't help it. I just peed at the Universal Studios part too, remember? Because I... Sir. <laughs> hey! What else do you want if you don't want somebody that's 1,000 and keep it 1,000? That's me. You want 8,000. And at I mean, eight, he say I'm 8,000. Yeah. Whatever, but I'm always 1,000. And you love me, don't you, Buck? Pumpkin. I just be medicated. He say he just be medicated. He be medicated, he be praying, and all of that. But I always tell him, he doesn't have an, he don't understand that he has something so special, just like I have in him. Hey, don't get it twisted. Y'all y'all don't understand some things about staying long, okay? So he talked about, I got seven personalities. He has three, but the three that he has... Hmm. Tell me the worst thing. The worst thing? The worst thing about... Well, tell them the, worst. the worst thing that I feel about your three... The, the, the personality that is the one that has no patience. The one that be like uh go to from zero to one thousand before you even get off zero that one that guy like he him that personality that's just one but that one in and of well, itself that's, one. that's you have three. You name, like, three things right but so i said but that person or three things. you have like three different personalities Those all three. you have sweet tooth you have okay. stack and you have stan okay so can you explain this because i've never heard this sweet tooth Give me your best. You see who my right, sweet tooth I'm, is? I'm here sweet, to I, that's who I'm, I'm here to learn. Sweet tooth is who I met online five years ago. It was on August the 30th. I was at a wedding, and you know what? I decided to go in his inbox five years ago and um, congratulate him on his book. And I told him, I'm going to get a copy of that book and I'm going to read it. I'm so proud of you, black man from this area, and wrote and published the book. I didn't know him no though and he responded he was just like oh um yeah i'll sign the book for you if you come and bring it to me he was living in atlanta at that time and then he said oh terry you cute i like your haircut do you have a man five years later look at us i'm mrs long forever you stuck with me in all seven of my personalities stuck <laughs> like chewing gum to the bottom of your shoe boo Cause this, like I really meant like for real until death. When I said it on the beach on July 7th, 2017 in St. Thomas, in front of family, friends, and before God, I meant what I said. This is forever or death. So then that's. Those are the two things that I'm, that I feel. Which one of those people? Which one of those people what? Who was that on that day? Oh, Sweet Tooth was there on That's July 7th. July 7th. The day pop, they, they, it depends on what's going on when they pop out. You, you named three people. Yeah. Three I said Sweet Tooth, okay. Stack. I gotta fix my food. Wait. Who's Stack? I got off track. I'm on your track. Stack? <laughs> now. <laughs> stack is a handful. Now, what if I had met Stack back in the day, one of us probably wouldn't be alive. God knew what he was doing by waiting until Stack was 40-something and I was 40-something before he merged us together. Because we are two complicated individuals for different reasons. And there's no way that Terry and Stan would have worked um, any earlier than our 40s. We, have ha we are two types of people. We're so very different. Um, but we have some things that, the things that we share in common are just so like good and special right and they weigh real heavy so the things that we are like opposites on which are a lot i ain't even gonna lie it's a lot of things that we just hear and hear but it's all good because we've experienced a lot of things in life this video keep does does this video keep stalling on y'all's end or is it just me i don't think i'm i, I ain't well, had I mean, no i ain't had no medication yeah, today yet not yet um yeah but what was i saying so yeah so it's the things that we the, we have I'm going to be honest. We don't, what you think? We don't have, I think that we are more opposites than we have things in common. 
right? But the things that we have in common, like I said, are so good that, um, and we have matured so much throughout our life experiences that we are able to understand, we're still growing and learning that even though we are very different in so many ways, the things that are unique about us are what gels us together, right? Stack is a handful, and I don't know if I have a lot right now to go into Stack, but Stack is the one who goes from zero to a thousand without even getting off zero. You don't even, you, don't, you can't even get a chance to get off zero for Stack is already at a thousand, and Stack is the one who has no patience. You know, like there are times where, you know, like, you know, I'm t bomb, so I'll be like a little, you know, Lucille Ballish, and depending on what's going on, if it's Stack or Sweet, if it's Sweet Tooth, Sweet Tooth understands Lucille Ball, he'd be like, that's my Lucy. But if it's Stack, he'd be like, Terry, what in the hell? So it's a difference, you know? But I take it all because I love all of that. Just like all seven of me, he, that's it, that's what no, he got. Stan is special. Stan is the, the God-based, family man filled with all of these principles um that he don't budge and sometimes it you know if i ain't seeing it the same way it causes craziness in here but we work around that but um stan is um very serious about his love for god and he's very serious about his understanding his one of his assignments is to spread that that god gives to stan to others like he did to me like Stan gave me a lot of that. Like when me and Stan first met, I wasn't reading the word. I love God. I, I went to church as a child. I sang in the choir, I led songs. I went to, uh, 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 what's those things? Re what was it? Revivals when you go every day during the week. I did all of that. So I love God. And I, but I never was the type of woman who was real spiritual. And I never really studied any of that. So when I met him, he was very spiritual still is and um he was like almost i thought we were going to kind of like not date because one of his first requests was that i read something spiritual no i, asked but, I mean question. anything he said would you be willing to do a 30 30 day challenge with me and i said what is that and he told me he said you will read anything of your choice 30 for 30 minutes for 30 days in a row and my spiritual spill right anything spiritual of my choice for 30 days um, for 30 for minutes. 30 minutes. Okay. And so this is like when we, we hadn't even gone out on our first date. So when he asked me that, I, I, I had decided when I started talking to Stan that I was going to be 1,000 from the start. I said, I'm not going to pretend. I'm going to give him who I am and what I'm feeling in, those, in that moment, whatever moment that is. And he's going to have to decide if that's going to be somebody he wants to accept as a wife or not so I when he asked me that I was like no nah, I don't want to do that he laughing but he know I did I was like no nah, I don't want to do that I said I don't want to be I don't want to commit to reading anything every day for 30 whole minutes and I didn't change my mind and I risked losing him because I know how serious he is about it and I think if I remember I don't know how I stayed uh, it was God. That's what I say. It's divine because adventure. Because once you said that to me, I was so freaking irritated with you. Mm -hmm. I said, <laughs> so my response was, this. so let me give y'all a little back. He was turned off. At the end of the day, though, my wife is a great woman. My wife, when I met her, had a head injury right after, right? And so I, when I posed the question to her, she was laid in the bed and was just uh, basically thankful to be alive, basically. She couldn't even watch television. It was against the rules. So I just thought that that would be a good time for her to pay homage and be thankful for that moment. My wife, though, come from a different background, so I understood afterwards. But at the time, I was in my feelings. I was like, <laughs> what I told you, I said, God give you 24 hours every day, and you can't get him 30 minutes, you little dumbass. He, he uh, did 24 say that. hours that God gave you? He did I said, say you that. for real? You can't give him 30 minutes of your 24 hours. You can't re-gift him. Like, he gave you 24. You can't loan him back a half 30 minutes. He said that. And she was like, nah. I was like, nah. no. I, I, said, <laughs> I, I said, I could on some days if I feel like I it. But on the days that I, I don't feel like it, I'm not going to commit to it. And there are plenty of women who would have been. Because we were but long you distance. Honest, though. You right. Were honest. We were long distance. I could have easily pretended. I could have lied and been like, been with it. Because I know that that would have made him happy. But I'd rather be real and risk losing him than to be fake. 
and be lying. I didn't want to start off lying and stuff because I didn't feel like doing that. I wanted to be free in this relationship, free of who I really truly am, right? Because I, I, I messed up in my prior situation. So this time I was like, I'm not going to be fake because when you be fake, that. then once you get in it, you start being like, Ugh, I don't yeah. like being like this. I'm, I'm the type of woman who drinks beer out of a bottle. I don't want to pretend and pour it in a fancy ass glass. That ain't me. And if you don't like it, then that's cool. I ain't mad. But we just can't be together because I'm, I am I just want to be who I am when it comes to certain things. So that's why I did what I did. But God has a, a God funny style, right? God was like, I'm still. But I did respect it. I was, I'm, I was yeah, I, I you respected respect the honesty. Because you was being real with me. Like you said, you could have. I could have faked. Fraud. And you I could have been like, fraud. yeah, I, today I read my 30 minutes of whatever, made something up. But I didn't want to do that because so my, I really, I mean, really liked you and I so valued you I'm, I'm, our friendship. I'm gonna bow out of your situation. I just want to tell them why I even put mm -hmm. that. Because people are like, why, what, what, what? So this was my motive. Like, okay, <laughs> I meet a lot of people in life. I always test people's spirit depending on our situation. So in a dating situation, I had a bad situation with my son mom. Her spirit was like riding as an apple. Ooh and so <laughs> she's like uh, Damien or something. Mm. So because of that, I had started testing the spirit. I wanted to know if a woman was solid in the spirit or not. So I know that 21 days creates a habit. So I just wanted her to go 30 days with me reading something spiritual, whatever she chose, just to give her a spiritual path for creating a, 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 a what we call a habit, a good habit. Because I already had the habit. I just wanted to pass it to her without shoving it down her throat. So anything she wanted to read for 30 minutes, 24 hours a day, 30 minutes she had out of 24 hours. It could be 12 o'clock, it could be 4 in the morning, whatever. Just get up 30 minutes, get God some time, and then go. That's what I always done. So because if you are equally yoked with somebody, it's bad for your life as a man. I'm talking to the men right now. If you're a man and you and you don't have balance, first of all, try to get you some balance. Like You got to have spiritual balance. If you don't have it today, your ass better find some quick. And so get you some spiritual balance because when you grab a mate, she's supposed to be your help me. And so she needs to have balance as well. So I knew if I was going to take her on as a wife or somebody I consider serious, then she would have to have some type of spiritual balance or we would have a clash. She would say would use her to pull on me, like Adam and Eve situation. It's an old ass trick. So Eve come and destroy Adam by giving her, you know, fake news, stuff like that. So I knew she would give me a bunch of fake ass news and all that. And then it would waste my time. So I just wanted to get her balanced before we get going. That's my yeah. motive. That was my motive because I liked her a lot. So I said, I want to get her balanced out. Yeah, but I knew you was game goofy. Like you didn't have no game. Like you was goofy as hell when it came to spirit world. So you game goofy. So I was like, she can't marry me game goofy because the Satan will keep bothering me. And then I'm going to have to bust her and Satan in the head. So then I said, let me help her. And you gradually did what? Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all. So, so that was in. Crank. Listen, December of that when he when he. I, I'll, Lord, never, I'll never forget. Lord, mercy. I'll never forget when you first asked me that because I was driving in the car. I was going up to Baltimore in the snow to that MCM store. I was because it was around Christmas time and I was going up there to get my sister and my daughters a bag for Christmas and we were talking in the car. And um, so I could sense that he was not feeling it. I, he was turned off and he said some things or whatever. And he was, I think you indicated, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and so I was like, I, don't know. I, was like, I and I said I, to I him, phone, and I know he got off the phone and I said in my mind, I said, it's possible that, because at this point, this was December, 2014, him and I had only talked on the phone, FaceTime. Remember he was in Atlanta. I was living here. So we hadn't gone out on a date, seen each other in public. I mean, we haven't seen each other in person or anything, but we were really feeling each other. And so I was like, dang, when we hung up the phone, I was like, he might not ever call me no more. But I had to be okay with that because if he didn't call me anymore, then I knew he wasn't the one. And I had to be cool with that. But I did really like him a lot. Um, I think he went like a day or two and didn't call me at all. And this was someone that I talked to every single day, all the time. From yeah, August 30th, 2014 through December, we talked every day, several times a day. So when he didn't call me for like two days straight, I was, my stomach was hurting. I was just like, oh my gosh. But <laughs> I was like, if it's meant, if, if I'm the one or if he's the one, then I, I don't have to be sitting here with my stomach hurting. It was just going to do what it's going to do. And like in a few days he called, he was still dry. And I was just like, you know, I understand that if you just want to be friends, I get it. I understand. And I'm cool with that. Whatever you decide, I'm cool with it. 
and over time we just continued to talk as friends and um, not not just friends but became more than that so by the time Stan and I first had our first date which was do you remember pumpkin February February 5th huh no it was February 5th 2015 is when we had our first First, like we first saw each other and all of that so it's now it's history you know we married um but when he asked me about that 30 30 spiritual uh, read challenge i didn't do it but what i did do was and it's a baby step and i was like you know what i'm gonna download the bible app on my phone that way i can at least since he's really into that word i can at least start reading one bible verse a day so i started there so he didn't even understand that that was even that was a lot for me because I never, I never wanted to be bothered with doing any of that. I don't like reading nothing except Jet Magazine, maybe, because it was small. Jet Magazine, you can read Jet Magazine in five minutes. And that was it. My attention span is super short, super short. Always had that struggle in school. So I'm just not a reader, not of anything. Um, but I downloaded the Bible app and I um, put it on my phone and I started doing just, a you know, just for getting it in my spirit, just a Bible verse. A day and I sent it to my children so that'll be like I'm gonna put make them put it on their app so it was a small step but I started there and then probably in about two years we got married in 2017 but I don't remember when I joined Queen Esther at First Baptist Church Glen Arden but I joined Queen Esther and I did join begrudgingly initially I was just like mm, I hope they only pick my because you know you don't everybody don't get to get picked for Queen Esther it's, it's an exclusive program but I told myself, I said, if they pick me, that means I'm supposed to be here. But your ass was praying they didn't. But go, because I ain't God, never heard right. pray to God that, that I ain't get, get out for here. a God program. I ain't never heard that. Right, but that's where Only I was. My wild at the, wife. At the, like, Lord, don't let them pick me for you. <laughs> well, that's not those. It wasn't like that those weren't mean. my thoughts, but... That's, Lord, how, don't be trying to that's the truth. That's what happened in that in that moment. But once I started going, once I started fellowshipping with these other women who would become my Queen Esther sisters, once I started reading some of the stories about the women of the Bible, and I'm like, wow, this is what I've been missing? Yep. You know? And so, like now fast forward again to today, I read something spiritual every day so i'm not on a 30 30 challenge anymore i'm actually on a just a lifetime type of thing but so that was my whole goal from the beginning mm -hmm. was to try to put you on a lifetime path yeah, but, your own so you could build a relationship right. with your god so right then you could be solid so right. i wanted to choke the shit out of you you know what i'm talking about he said choke the shit out of me you know what when you, i like a little bit of soft choke though that just a little bit and so that's why women be off balance. They don't have that balance. They man don't have no balance. And they both off balance. And right, right. Always wreck. Right. So what he did and what he gave me, um, it was a fight because he would be fighting with fighting with me. You know, you don't read and da da da. But what he gave me is priceless because he he planted a seed, um, or you could say he shined a light, and um, it blossomed over time at a snail's pace. But you know, everybody ain't on the same journey. Every, and y'all know that, whoever, whichever, if y'all are, you know, if you all read, if you all, um, you know, God chases and, and, and truth seekers and things, everybody is pro probably on a different page, a different pace. Everybody's walk is different. And I used to tell my husband that, and I'd be like, God is going to work on Terry. Thank you don't you. worry about that. Yes, you plant God. the seed, you That's shine the light, and then you go on about your business and you keep doing Whoa. your God work. You, you, you do what you need to do for your mission for God, and you let God handle Terry. And, now and so just know I had my own short You can't force like it on a person. Now. Everybody still gonna have these short comments. Like I still cuss, I still smoke weed sometimes, I still drink uh, a little bit here and there. I ain't never been no big drink. But I still have these situations because I'm a human. But I admit the mind though. I but God still used me, that's the whole thing. So I, I commit myself to God and I don't act like I don't do wrong or I ain't this or I ain't that. That's when you fraudulent. My wife say fraudulent. Fraudulent. <laughs> That's when you're being fraudulent. I'm a hundred. So at the end of the day, it gives you balance. It's called balance. Yeah. You're going to hire yourself, lower self. So thank you. I'll, I'll so thank, thank you So thank you for being the person who will finally submit. Because the whole goal, you don't, you don't, you you never knew it. <laughs> so I'm going to tell them on this live. You didn't even know. Mm -hmm. you, was, you was an assignment. Right? Mm -hmm. 
Like, so in my mind, I had set a certain time frame for you, and then I was gonna cut your ass off. But it was just, you were just an assignment. Like, I wasn't gonna keep playing with you. And so I figured if you don't stop playing with me, I'm just gonna cut you off. I wasn't even gonna tell you. I was just gonna, because sometimes God put me on messing with people. I already know I'd be on a mess with the person. It could be the stay or the play. So at first I thought we were just gonna play. And then I was gonna say, okay, I, cause I ain't gonna force nobody to be on that God. You gotta know that your heart did. So I was gonna just slide off and let you have your, however long you wanna be, snail pace, broken leg pace, or whatever pace, or no pace, and keep it moving. Cause I was on assignment myself. So I'm on a mission. And so I knew like this day, like I already, when I met my wife, Five years ago, what did I tell you to do? One of the weirdest things I told you to do. What you told me to do five years ago. I said, you might want to what? You might want to... I don't remember, babe. What did you tell me? Tell me give me a hint. I said, you might want to go get some water and some canned oh, goods. Yeah, he, and you might want to get all this stuff Okay, I can together. tell it now. Now that he remind me. Like, I don't remember. But this five years but ago. Five years, when he first met me, before this whole stupid... Pan, plan, planned, before the pandemic, pandemic kicked off. Before any of this happened, this, before I even really knew him a lot, he said, "You know what? You I should start house, stock." Right? He, he said, house. "You in a house?" He said, "You in a house, right? You need to start stocking up on cases of water and canned goods." And he said, "Because around. because he's a, he he reads, so he way ahead." And he's like, "Cause." Cause it's gonna come I a said, time. He said, "I don't know when, but it's gonna come a day when all of this shit gonna be crazy." And this is coming to closer to the end of, end time. Not saying that deep this is, but getting closer to that point, you want you need to be ready. So your family, blah 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 blah. And I used this to be was like, five years what? Ago. "What is he this talking was five about?" Years ago. But when he moved in, I, I, when he moved up here, I started doing it. Once he started coming <laughs> over, I wanted him to see, like, "Oh shit, let me start." Right, doing it. she was playing because mm -hmm. this is like when Noah said, "He you was know, right, we gotta go up." It wasn't raining. It was sunny, 90 degrees outside of summer. And everybody else was running around playing, humping, and getting married, and partying, and, you know, popping bottles. And Noah was trying to get their art together, because the Lord put something on his spirit. So when I started ringing the bell, a lot of people don't know me, that know me, should already knew that something was going on. Because I don't talk like that, ever. And so when I start publicly talking about the Lord and talking about this and this and this and this, they should have already knew that he had woke my spirit up and pricked my heart to say, let's rock. And so when I do that, I ain't playing no games. I just told everybody it was going to be a window. And so I'm going to shut up in a few minutes, though. I just have a window of assignment. I don't supposed to say this the rest of my damn life. I'm supposed to just say this because I honor the people and I'm honoring God. And then I step off and like, no, I dug in my heart. <laughs> and I'm cool on it. Well, anyway, thank you. Y'all, look, this has turned into a, a, a different type of... <laughs> I, I was on here to get some instructions on how to make a breakfast burrito. And, and let y'all make it with me. And look at my stuff. My bacon is cold. <laughs> my spinach done got wilted. And my cheese is starting to look a little weird. But because sometimes we get into conversations, me and Stan, like even if we weren't on here, we'll I'll be doing something and we'll get into a conversation. And I'll be done forgot all the, what the hell I was doing, the, everything. So I'm a, now it's almost lunchtime and it's like 2 o'clock. Do I really make a, I got to make it now though. So let's do it. Okay, honey, where's the... You not go, now you gone? You not gonna be my assistant? No. Okay, I gotta get the pan, y'all. Wait a minute. Okay, wait, y'all. Y'all just listen to my music. I'm coming right back. My assistant will usually be right there, but my assistant, he hijacks my, um, he, he hijacks my live, and then he goes on about his business, right? I need to get my pan, so we gotta make this breakfast burrito. Um... But yeah, so that's our story, y'all. And we are, um, you know, we are, through our um, Spotlight Over the City show, we talk a lot about relationship stuff and, and, and tell people about some of the things that we have gone through. Because um, like I said, you know, our relationship has been way different. Like I never, ever, ever, ever in life dated somebody online. First of all, I never met anybody that I wanted to date online. That's the first thing. Second thing, I don't know what got into me, but I would never go and inbox a man and be like, hey, I like your book and I'm gonna I'm a buy your book. All of that was like out of pocket. Well, maybe I would do that because I used to approach men in public, so maybe I would have done that. I just was weird about online stuff. Um, so everything about us has been weird. Like I would never go eight months and never go on a date with someone. 
but everything has been different with me and him. But what it did was allowed us to become like be at, we're besties. Is it perfect? No. Does Stan get on my nerves? Absolutely fucking yeah. And I sure I get on his with my seven personalities. But we are a unique couple. Um, everything about us, right? We're total opposites completely. He's an Aquarian. I'm a Cancer. I'm super emotional. He's super not. He's super straightforward. Say whatever he feels, thinks, wants. I'm not that way. I'm a Cancer in my shell. Um, so it's it's crazy. So that's how I know God meshed all this together. Because God is going to show that he can take two completely polar opposite individuals and get them to love. Like my whole thing, I always tell Stan, he knows this. My objective in life is to love like God. Like in so if you love like God, it don't matter if he's an Aquarian or whatever. Because God don't be like, well, what's your sign? God loves everybody. Uh, all of, Not everybody. All of his people. I'm one of his people. So it's that. And God is going to show through people like us who are completely opposite that it's possible. Because look at us. Well, I love does. my pumpkin. You love your pumpkin? Oh, I love you too, baby. Pick me up. No. <laughs> That's how you mess my arm up, sir. So what's okay, up we got okay. Pork? All right, so I don't really do pork. So I'll be trying to stand back a little bit. And I don't want to jump on me like like the uh, virus. The pork jump they say, on. They say you can get it through pork. I heard that yesterday. That you can get it. You can get Rona, Rona. now through pork. That pork. Caroni. But yeah, that you can get they the, say the Caroni. No, but they said you can yeah. get it through chicken and stuff too. So you, well, you, hell, you, you ate tiger, uh, you, What's my man? Joe Exotica. <laughs> hell, free Joe Exotica. Joe Exotica. The damn tiger, the damn tiger had it. The tiger, tiger, oh. ha, tiger had Corona. Listen, listen. I'm in here in jail with these niggas. They got the damn Corona in jail with me. Let me out. Are you Joe? Joe? Yes, Joe. Where's Carol? That bitch Carol. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> I want her dead. Where's Carol? I don't know. Don't has, ask me nothing about that damn Carol. Has Carol been to visit you? Hell no. Let me tell you something. These jokers in here with this damn Caroni. Let me out of here. They say one of my tigers got the Caroni. Free Joe virus. Exotic. Free Joe. Free Joe. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. They say one of my damn tigers got it. They got tigers. One of your tigers. One of my tigers. They got Caroni. Yeah, the one I tried to shoot. They say got, got Caroni. 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 Yeah. Caroni 19. For real, Caroni yeah. 19. They say the tiger, remember the tiger had my leg? I yeah, yeah, I saw that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got the Caroni. Please, y'all. Y'all don't understand what it's like to be in this quarantine with hey, Stan Long, Joe something. Exotic. Let me tell you Stan can you turn into entertainment. You ain't yeah. lying. Well, okay, y'all, we gotta make this running. damn burrito. That's what I got on here an hour ago to make the burrito. So, do you do the spinach first? Let's do the. Do you put the spinach in a different pan? See, and when I order this at the at my dining room at my job, they have a big griddle. So they put the spinach over here on this side, and then they put the eggs right here. So let's try that. One, two. Hey, I'm gonna do it. I'm a spectator. Okay. Here, I just don't know if I should fix the spinach or the eggs first. I don't want to put no input. And I don't. I don't want you to try to say I told you. So I didn't well, you, I can't get input from you, baby, you because you're not a cook. No, I'm a chef. You not a chef, cook, nothing. See, you ain't gotta worry about me. What y'all got me. going on in y'all house? How y'all keep y'all self entertained? Yeah, what y'all been doing? Y'all already see what we doing. What y'all been doing? Doing the quarantine. What's everybody been doing? Okay, spinach first. Okay, Nicole, I was gonna do that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, how are things out there in San Francisco? What y'all doing? Y'all still, are they opening things back up yet out in San Francisco, Nicole? Give us Are they the update. Vaccinate y'all. Raise your hand if y'all gonna get this vaccine. I, I wanna know refuse. why. I wanna know why Man. I take three to five years for a vaccine and then you came up with it in 30 damn minutes. This is a no vaccine zone house. None of my children are allowed to get it. I don't give a damn if they the flu my vaccine kids are grown. My two so daughters are grown. They are not allowed to get that vaccine. David can't get it. I ain't getting it. Stan can't get is it. Is anybody dying of the flu anymore? Is everybody covert 19? Like, <laughs> is there any heart attacks, strokes, diabetes, blood pressure? Nothing. Everybody covert So San 19. Francisco extended the, the stay-at-home order through May 31st. So they playing games. That's right, Nicole. Don't get that vaccine. Nah, hell with them. Give me a thumbs up if y'all getting the vaccine. And I get, no, it's no, it's no shade. No, none of that. Funny. If you getting it, 
I just I pray for you. That's all. I don't. I, don't I tell no, you what, I ain't knocking nobody. I ain't knocking it, it, but I ain't, but getting, I ain't it. getting it. I'm just, like I'm saying, I, I don't knock it. I don't have any um, anything any, the any no judgment, none of that. Government mandating something cool on it. Yeah. Anything you want to mandate? If they start me, saying, yeah, you can get it for free and <laughs> right at the seven them. And so Cheryl, I'm glad you said that. You're a nurse, my friend Cheryl Dottie. The one we saw up at the um, Barclays in New York. Oh, yeah, yeah. She been a nurse for like forever. Like she's like one of the top nurses. And she said no. Right. No Hell vaccine. No. Me they either. playing games Hell with no. us. It's pandemic. Playing these dumbass yeah. games. You want no. a vaccine? I'm no. cool on it. No and no. You're so. going to die from fear before you die from the other Come man. on, y'all. Let's make the burrito. Come on, baby. So. We got 400 murders around here in my day coming up. That was a pandemic in my mind. I dug 175 bullets every third. <laughs> What the hell kind of lifestyle was you living? Ducking Eastgate. bullets every I'm Thursday. Eastgate, Simple City. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you how I was going. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's all playing them. What? Okay, so let's... So did y'all hear Fauci and the Georgetown Conference say that we was going to have a pandemic, I mean, pandemic, uh, in, 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 at the presidency's hand? At this president's hand? He, he made that statement last year. Did y'all see this goofball say this? Did y'all know about the $3.7 million this dumbass done put up to send to China to try to put this vaccine together with this dumbass? Can you, can, he's hijacking my live again with his... Oh, did quick. I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> okay, listen. This is what we doing Dr. with the Kilchi. burrito. Dr. He's, Kilchi. He call him Dr. Kilchi, not Kill Dr. Fauci. <laughs> okay, so we got the we got the cheese all shredded, babe. See, did you know, you're not a shredded cheese, honey? Have you ever done I'm this? Country boys. You know how to do this? Um, yeah, I know. Okay, the so now we got to get another. You cooking with gas? I'm cooking. So when you gonna do the egg pot? Oh, you to do that? Don't you do that first? Boy, do this supposed to be heated up? I think they. I be oh, seeing so them. Yeah. I be seeing them put this on the grill when you I go, go to order YouTube it. You need and find out what you do. You? No, we we gonna do this together, baby. Oh, no. We do. I don't be a part of failed projects. I'm gonna be over here. Huh? Place. Let me know when you get that together. What? When I cook, I got my whole project in order. Okay, wait a minute. I just need a bowl to scramble. What you use to scramble your eggs? Tell me what you need. Get back over there. I'm going to use this bowl. I don't want to dirty up more dishes. I'll use your bowl. I'm going to wash the dishes. Okay, I need a bowl to mix my eggs. Okay. All right, baby. Okay, honey. Thank you. Okay, so... Uh... Where's, gonna where the food fork food you used for your eggs? No. I'll just use the same fork. No, when you cook eggs, you're going to have salmonella, velanella, all that. Salmonella? What's velanella? Look, 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 a fork in the sink from old ass eggs, don't scramble no eggs for me. I'll watch you. Right? <laughs> hey. We need you to have a little more. A know, little more what? Sanitation. Sanitation? Yeah. Yeah. You know that covert 19 out here. Covert 19. I don't have it. We don't have that in here. So I'm gonna put the no, cheese in here with the eggs. You never know how I could have came in. Yeah, I don't. It's no COVID in here. I don't have that. Okay. We're gonna tell you it's on the money next Thursday, so the. And you know that I haven't been coughing at night me. anymore. I, I, I haven't. You haven't heard me cough. Having cough attacks. That's that. That tea. You drink the tea. You put some whiskey, right? You put some lemon, and you put what else? Honey. It's not the tea. It's and my that cough. Tea it's, it out. My, it's my cough drop treatments that I've been doing. Hey kid, it's a coroni killer. Where the salt and pepper, baby? Are you my assistant or no? I was. Salt and pepper, y'all. I'm about to dip. Huh? I'm about to be up. Why you gonna dip? Yeah. We gotta do the burrito. Gotta see. This is my first time making a burrito. You wanna you can't dip. You gotta see how it comes out. It's almost ready, y'all. Cause it shouldn't even take that long. Why you not finding out what they doing? What they got going on? Why everybody Nicole said they, they shut they the San Francisco down through May 31st. With the end of May? Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. And so they've been on lockdown longer than us, right? Um, they was about three weeks ahead of us. They were three right? weeks ahead of us. So yeah, that put us to June. <laughs> June, July. Yeah. So I put the spinach in first. Okay. So, baby, the spinach going to cook down. I think that's what that's 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 that means. You cook spinach like that? Well, it was up. You can, you can put it on the stove like that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, how you cook spinach? I don't. That's what I'm asking. Oh. 
Yeah, you can cook spinach so many different ways. Or you can just eat it out. You can just eat spinach out the bag. Because people eat it in their um in their salad raw like this. So once you do that, you want to scramble it. it with eggs? I'm going to scramble it with eggs, yeah. Or you going to put that in the egg? Yeah, the spinach is going to be in the egg. And what else? Peas? Uh-huh, spinach, eggs, cheese, and then when it's done, when it's all done, I'm going to wrap it up with, I'm going to crumble up the bacon and wrap it all up in a burrito. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Right, yep. You going to want to taste it? Nah, nah. I want you to. Nah, nah. nah yeah. Okay, so now the spinach is all, the, you got to do like the spinach get wilted like this. Go tea bomb, go tea bomb. Oh, that looks good. Yes. Yeah. Well, can they see? Can you see my wilted spinach? And now I'm gonna put the eggs in here. And it's got the cheese in it. I did two eggs, a little bit of shredded um, um cheddar, salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna mix it all up with the spinach. What about the bacon? What do you, what do, you do? I do. I might go put that in here because the bacon is already done. So when I see Martina at my dining room at my job do it. She waits until she folds it all up before she adds the bacon. Okay. Yeah. Get it, T-Bond. Yeah, and I don't like really hard eggs. So this is pretty much, I turn the pan, you can turn the pan off before you finish because the pan is so hot, it'll keep cooking. But it looks like this, spinach, eggs, and cheese. It looks good for me. Yeah. So now what about the burrito part? It's already done. That's what we're gonna do now. The burrito is already done. It's just bread. It's another form oh. of bread. Like you have pita bread. Right, right, right. Tortilla. It's a flour tortilla. So this is my eggs, bread. cheese, and spinach. You ain't have enough spinach, did you? It? Yeah, it's yeah. enough. I don't want like a spinach sandwich. So <laughs> now what I gotta figure out now is rolling it up into this burrito, which Pebbles showed me how to she told me what to do. So let me see. I'm gonna try it now, y'all. Let's see. Okay. So I'm gonna scoop scoop the eggs onto the burrito. Uh huh. Like this. I think the object is to get everything in the middle of the burrito. So let's see. So like this, babe. All right, then. Put it in the middle, and then I'll crunch the. You wanna move some of this so they can see? I'll crunch the objects out the way. Oh yeah. So I'll crunch up the bacon. It's so ghetto, but it's cool though. He said my cooking thing looks so ghetto. It's hood. Hey, I'm from Kent Lane. I, I, we talked about being that looks lit though. We talked about being pretentious, and yeah, I'm not look that. Look at your uh, presentation. Yes, y'all. Okay, so I haven't rolled it yet, but here we go. And so this is how it used. Oh shit. Everything's okay. good. Everything is good. Okay. Slow down. It's okay. So you gotta. Where's your cheese? My cheese is mixed in with the eggs. Oh, you already put the cheese? Yeah. So here, wait a minute. You got it, like. I'll call you back, Petey. Or call me on the house phone. Oh, shoot. My burrito is busting up. <laughs> wait a minute. Okay. So I made my burrito. I think I have to learn how to roll it because it, it ain't supposed to look like this. But I did okay for my first time. All right, y'all. See you later today at 6.30 for Spotlight Over. 6.30 because that's like the pre-show. Spotlight Over the City. Oh, you didn't tell me what was going on today, all these big artists? Yeah, okay. So tonight on Spotlight Over the City, y'all, we have got two of DMV's like most lit musicians, what? artists ever. Ari O'Neill who's been on the show before, is the lead guitarist on tour. Not on tour now, but she was on tour with Beyonce and Jay for their un On The Run 2 tour. Lead solo guitarist with one of Beyonce's songs. She was at with Beyonce at Coachella, her guitarist again. And she's recently been touring with Lizzo. Now we're home and stay on. She's home now, but she's going to be on the show tonight. Ari, I cannot wait to see you again. And we've got... Spotlight family member, she's been on our show like one, two, or three times, but Nori Belay is going to be on the show tonight. You all may remember her formerly talent, as Martha Aperk, but she is talent. she is like, super her talent talented. is is out of this world, y'all. And great. she's so unique, right? And we've got some entrepreneurs coming on the show tonight to talk about how she this COVID-19, yeah, her and India Irie too, yeah. 
I mean to interrupt you. Yeah. But, but we've got two entre entrepreneurs on the show tonight talking about how COVID-19 and the pandemic has impacted their business and how they're how they're restructuring their business so that they can keep things going. So it's going to be such a good show tonight, y'all, from 7 to 8.30, Spotlight Over the City. Make sure you tune in, okay? I got to eat my burrito. My, now my burritos, look, y'all, is it supposed to do this? Look, what did I do wrong? Whoever knows how to do burritos, tell me what I did wrong. <laughs> that I didn't use the right size or something? Like Maybe you put too much. I think I put too much. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>